folks, Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School. What I want to do this morning is I want to show you a resource over here. I've been doing a little scouting. I have a basic survival class coming out here this weekend, and I've done a little pre-scouting for resources to walk these individual classes to so that I can show them different resources for fire and things like that here in the eastern woodlands. I found an interesting resource over here that's very seldom talked about that I want to talk to you about today that's a good resource not only in the winter but also in the summer and for carrying fire as well. Stay with me and we'll walk over here. So what we have here is we have a down and dead rotting pine. Obviously this is going to be a good place for us to look for fat wood, although it may be too far gone for that already. One of the important things to understand about this resource is that it has a lot of termite damage. And the fact that it has termite damage makes it very useful in other ways. So let's harvest a piece of this termite damaged wood and then we'll talk about it. Looking inside this tree, you can see the trails and things that the termites have caused damage to this wood. So what we're looking for is we're looking for a loose piece that has a lot of termite holes in it like this. So we'll bust this thing up a little bit and we'll find us a piece. Then I'm gonna show you how to use it. Okay, if you look inside here, you can see these areas inside here are what we're looking for. You can see how that's been heavily damaged by termites. There's a lot of channels in that piece of wood. And that's exactly what we want. Now a piece like this is going to have to have direct flame for ignition. But once we get it lit, and it won't take long to do that, a little bit more. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we can let that sit there and burn. And before long, when it gets up into those cavities, it's going to start to smolder. And it will become an ember. You can see really what this is doing is turning to a larger and larger ember. Like I said, this is not going to flame up, but that's the property that we're looking for. We want something that's going to smolder. If we're carrying fire or carrying an ember, or we want something to smolder and put off a lot of smoke to drive away bugs or insects in the summertime from under our hammock or around our tent, tarp, whatever the case may be, this is the ticket. But this resource is not a plentiful resource. When you come across something like this, you want to collect it because you're not going to find this stuff every single day. But this is a termite eaten pine tree. Like I said, you're going to see those areas, those furrows in there where the bugs have been eaten away at this tree and thinned out the wood. And that stuff will smolder for a long period of time, but it will not burn. 
I should say, shouldn't say it won't burn because it will burn with open flame. But it's not going to catch fire while it's smoldering, but it will continue to smolder and smolder and smolder. And you're not going to have to add a lot of oxygen to it. Now you can take something like this and put it over open flame and it will catch fire. And you could use something like this to put in your fire before you left your camp, get it flaming up, blow it out, let it smolder, stick it in a container of some sort, whatever your bush pot or whatever you're carrying is, and carry it to your next campsite to prep for your next fire. Wanted to give you guys a little bit of a close up of this. This thing's been smoldering for a good 15 minutes. And there's a nice big red ember on there, but it's not catching fire. Okay, guys, well, that was just a quick tip or trick on this termite eating pine tree. I wanted to show you that real fast. It's not something that's real common, not something you're going to come across every day, but a valuable resource that you can collect if you do happen to find it in the eastern woodland environment. I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. I appreciate you joining me for this quick short video. I appreciate everything you do for me, for our school, for our family, for our business, for all my instructors, affiliates, sponsors, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.